Iwo Jima had been bombed for 32 days and had been shelled for 16 days by the Navy. And then it was continually bombed as we were attacking it. And I was in the fifth wave. They let our first three waves, which was our assault waves, go get in. And then they started firing on us. And we could not understand how anything could live through that bombardment. And uh, so being in the fifth wave, why uh, we saw what was going on, what was waiting for us. Because we are getting return fire and uh, we're heading for the beach. And it didn't look very good. So I told the guys, I said, I quit. Let's turn around and get out of here. <laughs> they all, it broke the tension a little bit. But anyway, uh, we got to the beach and just looking at the terrain and the mess it was in, and it was all volcanic ash. We had to wait in it like sand. And uh, when I got on the beach, well, I just looked at the terrain and the devastation that had hit it, and uh, it just looked like hell on earth. And the fourth day, they raised uh, our American flag on uh, Mount Suribachi. And the ironic part about it was that uh, when they erected the flag on Mount Suribachi, we still had 30 days of combat to take the island. It wasn't far, it was far from over. 